SIP test prep lesson 5. When you take the actual SIP test, you will see a few very basic algebra related problem in the test. In order to answer those type of question in the test, make sure that you watch the video for lesson 5 and lesson 6. In these two lessons, we'll cover all this algebra related problem you need to study in order to answer that type of question in the actual test. So before you get started, make sure that you have a pen and a piece of paper that you could write every single steps in the video. And as always, pause the video and practice by yourself and download this application, SIP Tutoring from App Store or Google Play and study lesson five and lesson six that will cover everything you need in order to get um, high score in the actual test. So let's get started. In this lesson, we'll learn how to uh, multiply variables and divide variables, multiply factors, addition, subtraction of algebraic expression, simplify algebraic expression, find value of an algebraic expression, factorize um, square and square roots and matrices. So let's get started. The first thing we'll learn how to multiply variables. So learn this concept, like try a few times to make sure that you fully understand. So if you multiply um, a variable, the first thing you have to do, you have to add the exponent. So here five and eight, so you need to multiply five times eight is 40, and you have to add this exponent together. So that is three plus six gives you nine. So the answer is, 40 x to the power 9 power the, the the formula here so if x to the power m and x to the power n if you are multiplying you have to add the exponent so if you follow the rule you could find out all different kind of multiplication of variables so let's go to next problem so in this problem you'll see the same thing in here so we have 7 x to the power second power y to the power fourth power, 9x5, y to the power negative one. So what do you have to do first? You have to multiply the numbers. So seven times nine is 63. And then you could see here, x to the power second power and x to the power fifth power, right? So you see here, negative two plus five, four minus one. So if you simplify, that gives you 63x3, y3. So as always, Pause the video and try to do by yourself. Make sure that you learn it. So in order to learn like um, effective way, the best way you could do, practice multiple times. I'll repeat over time this thing. So let's go to next problem. So same here. So this is an um, practice problem. You try by yourself, pause the video and make sure that you get this answer. The same thing here. This is another uh, practice problem. So you practice by yourself. Make sure that you get this. If you don't understand, like follow the first two examples and try to do by yourself. So the next thing we'll learn how to divide algebraic expression. So same way, whatever you did, um, the formula here, if both of them are x, the top and bottom, and then you want to divide it, that means you have to um, subtract the exponent. And another important thing you need to know, x to the power negative one equal one over x to the power one. So that is if so like five to the power negative two, that is one over five square. So this is that. So now let's do this one. So eight divided by two gives you four, right? And then x to the power negative five, a negative two and x to the power five. So that gives you negative two, negative five, and then y to the power three minus five. So this is that. So this is one form of this um, answer, but the answer might vary in the, in the practice test or um, in the actual test. So what you could do, so this is exactly the same thing that I showed in here. So x to the power negative seven will be one over x to the power seven. So and um, y to the power negative two, that is one over y to the power second power. So that gives you four over x to the power seven, y to the power second power. So make sure that you understand this concept. So you don't know what format uh, you will get your um, course in the test. 
test this is another um, practice problem so you try by yourself and make sure that you get this same answer now we'll learn how to multiply expressions with a variable so you could see here this is 7x cubed parenthesis 9x to the power fifth power plus 3 so what do you have to do you have to distribute the whole thing with that and also distribute with that so that exactly you need to do so 7 times 9 is 63 x to the power third power plus x to the power fifth power gives you x to the power 8 same way multiplies 7 times 3 is 21 x to the power third power here there is nothing x in here so that gives you x to the power third power so that is the answer as i said pause the video and try to do it so just don't like do it make sure that you understand and learn it that cover very much everything for your officer candidate exam so let's go so now we'll learn how to multiply factors so if you want to multiply factors so what you have to do you have to distribute this multiply with that this multiply with that this with that that with that right so let's follow the pattern so you could see here that we split in here x to the x plus 5 times by 3 first the whole thing with that and then um the whole thing with the five two right the five with the x three so either way there are many different ways you could do it um but now you could multiply x times x gives you x squared three times x is three x plus x times five is five x x times uh five times three is a 15. so now you have to simplify simplify means you have to combine the like terms so you have x squared three x and five x 8x because um, they're like term and they have the same sign in the front so you add them together and keep the big sign on here right so this is the answer so this another example here so let's do it together so this time you have a negative and positive in here in in, in the um inside the parenthesis so let's do the same way you multiply x with the whole thing again and negative 2 with the whole thing again right so let's do x with that and then like distribute that so x times is x squared, 7 times x, 7x, negative 2x. And this you see here, this is positive times negative gives you negative 14. Now simplify the like terms. They have two different signs here. So you have to subtract from big number to small number and keep the big number sign 1. So that gives you x squared plus 5x minus 14. So this is a, a practice problem. You try by yourself and make sure that you get this answer if you don't get this answer make sure that you practice the previous example it will help you the next thing we'll learn how to simplify algebraic expression you basically um uh, actually did like few problem in before when you multiply the variables you actually did that so now let's refresh that again so adding means this one and this term right so what you have here the first term plus second term so what you need to do, you need to combine the like terms. So these are the like terms here, x squared. Now 9x and this 9x is like term. And then um, this one and that one are like terms. So let's do it. So 6x squared and 1x squared. If you don't have anything, that means 1, right? So that gives you 7x squared, right? Now you have this 9x. And this is positive 9x. So 9x minus 9x you could cancel out, right? So that is 0. And then same way, plus 5 minus 12 gives you minus 7. So that is the answer. So now let's go to the next problem. So now learn how to uh, subtract algebraic expression. So what do you have to do? You have to write first term, negative time, negative sign, then the second term. So now the many people get confused with this negative sign here. So this negative sign this is a parenthesis mean you need to multiply with this negative sign with every single term inside the parenthesis. So what you did here, this term minus this, that's the second term. So if you multiply with the negative sign, that gives you negative 2x squared, negative times positive gives you negative. Now, same way, find out the like terms x squared with x squared, x with x, and x squared, x y. So you have 4x only here so keep it separate 
2x square 2x square that gives you negative 4x square 7xy and 5xy that gives you 12xy so now this is another um, simplify algebraic expression so it's the same as a fraction so always remember anytime you add a fraction or subtract fraction you have to turn into a, um, a common denominator so you have to find the common denominator so then you have to do if you don't have anything you know so that means you have one so what is the common denominator between one and five is definitely five right so one here so what you could do here common denominator is five here so five divided by one gives you five so that's why multiply five with x plus three minus five divided by five is one so whatever you have in there let's put exactly same thing so now you could see here so this is the term here, right? So you need to multiply with this negative sign with everything. So that's why you have 5x plus 15 minus 6x plus 2. Okay, be careful with that. So now same way, find the like term. So that gives you 5x minus 6y plus 17 over 5. So that is the answer. So now how to um, divide fraction? So we... If you follow our lesson, you see lesson one, um, how to divide a uh, fraction. So that is called keep, change, flip. So keep whatever you have in the left side, send the sign division into multiplication, and then flip the second term. So you, I just flipped it. So when you flipped it, you could also um, cross out the like terms. So you see, this is the like expression. This is the same expression. So you could cross them out. So that gives you 5x plus 2y over x minus three so here couple up more examples so pause the video and try to do by yourself um make sure that you understand so i try to give as many as practice problems so that you could practice more in order to get um, um the high score on that math knowledge section so you know there are mainly two sections in in the test is arithmetic reasoning section and math knowledge but uh, sometimes they're combined and sometimes they're separate it depends what test you are taking so now let's um, simplify and um, algebraic expression or find value of an algebraic expression. So here if f, x equal to 3 and y equal to negative 5, then find the value of x square minus 2xy. So it's just very simple. Um, you need to plug the value x and y into that expression. So um, let's say replace the value x with 3 and y um y with negative five so that i did here so that three times three times three is 27 and then two times negative five gives you um so now first you have to do the inside the parentheses so five cube that gives you 125 negative because negative five times negative five times negative five gives you 125 negative right so this is that and then multiply that by negative 2 here that gives you 250 now add this number together that gives you 277 so pause the video and try to do by yourself there is another example in here the same way just plug the value x and y and simplify it so 4 minus 2 is 2 square that gives you 4 there is another practice problem in here pause the video and then try to do by yourself and make sure that you get this answer so the next concept will learn how to factorize this is a very important concept um, for your officer candidate test so now let's do it so we have 5x plus 15 xy so factorizing means you need to find the, uh, the common expression in this in this um, two terms so what is the common thing in here so 5x and 15 xy so that is actually 5x so if you take the 5x common right so what do you have to do you have to divide both sides by 5x so you're taking common right 5 5x so 5x divided by 5x gives you 1 15x divided by 15xy divided by 5x gives you 3y so that is the answer so there is another factorizing so if you see here so if you want to factorize you have to take the common term right so this is the common term here this is the common so this take this common out so if you take this common out so what do you have here so 
this is the common term then you have left over this one plus that one so that is the answer so now let's learn how to do middle factoring right so it's very important concept so let's pause the video and watch this um, problem multiple times because you need many times this type of problem either uh, factorizing or sol solving an um, equation so let's learn how to do it okay so the first thing you have to do you have to um, see like if you have anything in front of x so if you don't have anything so that means you have only one so multiply first term with last term that gives you 12 right now you have to split this 12 into such a way that if you multiply that gives you 12 and if you add or subtract gives you negative 7 so what are those two numbers so you could start anywhere you want so if you do like 2 and 3 or 2 and 6 so that gives, gives you 6 times 2 is 12 6 plus 2 is 8 or 6 minus 2 is uh, 4 it's not gonna work so now you split this again so this is 3 and 2 right so now you could do another combination 3 times 4 is 12 right so if you this times this is 2 times 2 is 4 so you could split that um, into 3 and 2 right so now you could see here so 3 and um, 4 right so 3 times 4 is 12 and 3 times uh, 3 plus 4 is 7 so you could split that so now um, you split this 7x into negative 3x minus negative 4x so if you take the x common here so that gives you x times x minus 4 and if you take 3 common here that gives you 3 times x minus 4 so um, now x minus 4 is common here and then x minus 3 so the answer is x minus 4 times x minus 3 make sure that you understand this thing it's very important to understand that so there are few uh, practice problem you try by yourself pause the video and practice at least few times make sure that you get these answer options and um, that will be good the next thing we'll learn how to um, find a square root of a number so so square root means so square root over 25 means uh, 5 so that means you need to find a number multiply by itself is the square root of that number right so 169 so that is 13 times 13 um, equal to um, 169 another thing that you see is square root and is square there cancel out actually okay so that gives you 13 the same way um, if you do this one so that gives you this multiply that so you need to multiply number with number and inside the square root with the square root so that gives you 3 times 4 is 12 and 3 times 2 is 6 so that is the answer you try by yourself make sure that you get these two answers from this another example so you have like this uh, actually this question came in the test many times so you have 81 square root if, if you have like that you need to treat each term separately okay so 81 square root over 81 gives you 9 x to the power fourth power gives you x square and then you could write x to the power 6 so you know that x is x cubed to the power second power so as i mentioned before this is square root and this cancelled out so that gives you x y to the power third power you try by yourself make sure that you get this answer so now we'll learn how to um do um matrices so this is the matrices that is um two matrices so you could add them up so three with five so you have to like add the these items in here okay so three with five zero with three two with two four with seven so that gives you um three plus five is eight zero plus three is three two plus four is four 7 plus 4 is 11. So this question is uh, recently coming in the test. So make sure that you practice. There is another a practice uh, problem. So you could try by yourself. Make sure that you get this answer. So I try to give like as many 
practice problem so you could you could practice by yourself but the most important thing that the flow what exactly you need to learn so that's important so if you learn all these things it will help you to um do that particular section in the the the, uh, the basic algebra algebra part in the uh, in the officer candidate test so this is same thing like subtraction so you have to do like element with element so this with that this with that this with this this with that right so let's follow that um subtract so seven minus minus three gives you seven plus three and the negative one minus two minus two plus two two plus five so that gives you seven plus um i think it should, should be ten here seven plus three is ten negative three zero and seven so that is the another practice problem you try by yourself make sure that you get this answer the multiplication so make sure that you learn how to do the multiplication so what do you do? need to do the multiplication it will go like this and this will go like that so three times four two times two one times four five times two there is another practice problem so you try by yourself make sure that you get this thing so that's very much for this lesson make sure that you practice those so download this application sip tutoring app from um, ios or android and uh, practice lesson five so make sure that you first watch the video and then do the homework at least few times so that will give you enough confidence to um, handle that type of problem and then take at least few practice tests to make sure that you get 80% or higher. So if you get 80% or higher, so that means you, you can handle that type of problem in the actual test.